Hello, my name is Jessica Singerman and I'm going to show you how to paint this botanical drawing using watercolor. Um, you will find how to make this botanical drawing in another video that I made called Step-by-Step -step Botanical Drawing, uh, where I walk you through how to draw from life, um, so from an actual plant in this case, a, um, or a violet here, uh, drawing using pencil and then ink. Um, and so now I'm going to add the color with watercolor. So let's do that. Um, so I'm using a little brush here that is a cat's tongue shape. So it's it's got a nice round belly. It holds a lot of paint and it comes to a really nice point. Um, so it's very versatile. Um, and I'm going to start uh, with lighter, more transparent colors and then build up the color, get to darker values as I go. So uh, one thing to remember with watercolor is that it's hard to impossible to fix mistakes. You kind of have to go with it. And if you do make mistakes, uh, figure out how to use them to your advantage. Um, so as I figure out what I'm going to do with this painting, uh, I am going to start lightly and then build things up. So let's, let's get into this. So I'm going to wet my brush. Um, if your paints are dry, if you haven't been painting already, you'll want to wet your pans if you're using pan watercolors to kind of activate them. Um, so I've been painting, so they're already, they're ready to go. So I'm going to mix a um, kind of a pale green. Um, and I'm going to add a bit of blue to it. Let's see. Okay. So I blotted my brush to get all the pigment out because I don't want this to be too dark and I'm reloading my brush with water. And then I'm gonna pick up this paint and I'm going to get into my leaves. So when you apply watercolor, if you're trying to, to cover a uh, shape, in this case, this leaf, this is actually a little tra more transparent than I want. I'm gonna add a little more pigment to this. You wanna be using the, um, you want to limit the kind of fussing around with your brush. So you'll notice that I uh, kind of, I place the brush sideways and stroke over and then back uh, just enough times to, enough to, uh, times to kind of cover my shape. And I'm using this green on all the areas where this is the the most close green match. Okay. And now I'm gonna make a slightly different green um, for some of the basil leaves. Leaves. Um, bum, bum, bum. We're gonna knock down that green with a little bit of, uh, this is a red ochre. All right, so putting this color down, this is a little more red than I wanted. So I'm just gonna blot it. So you can take a little piece of paper and blot it. There we go. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna go over that with a more pale green. Um, there's enough red in this now that I don't need to mix another kind of reddish green. I'm gonna be able to use this because the watercolor is transparent. Um, However, that was a good color that I can use on my root ball in here. And I'm trying to work pretty loosely. I'm uh, not really concerned about staying in, in lines or anything. The thing about watercolor is that it does move around some. Um, it is water, right? And so we wanna use that to our advantage. I'm gonna mix a much more pale blue for the underside of this leaf, or green, sorry. But I'm gonna start with a cerulean blue, which is a kind of a very weak um, blue, a very weak tinting strength. And I'm gonna add, what am I gonna add to this? I'm gonna try a little bit of yellow ochre. Um, it's an earth yellow. Let's see if this is the color we want. That'll work. Okay, 
because I didn't want to make that too bright. This underside is kind of a dull color. Okay, that'll work for now. All right, I'm letting things dry a little bit. I'm gonna be going over some of these areas um, to kind of modify the colors and darken things. Um, first, I'm going to take a tiny brush. It's a little too tiny. And I'm gonna start working in the stems a little bit. I'm gonna use that reddish kind of green that I mixed earlier. Um, that's a nice color for these stems. And so you'll notice as I start, things are pretty transparent. I'm not really going for it with anything bright just yet. We're gonna work up to that. All right, good. So now I'm gonna work on the uh, violet. So, I'm gonna mix a bit of, what am I gonna use? Some ultramarine blue and some quinacridone rose. It's a really cool red. All right, so that's too pink. I'm gonna add more blue. All right. I'm gonna knock this down a little bit. It's a little bright, there we go. I added a little yellow ochre just to make that a little more dull um, because this is not like a super radioactive purple that I want. <laughs> um, all right, so now there we go. First pass and that is, that works. Okay, so now I'm going to go back over some of these leaves. I want this, I want to create a green that's a little more blue than what I have going on. So let's, let's study this. Um, I'm going to mix a green um, using, let's go for a little bit of cobalt blue. Let's see what this looks like. This is actually a new paint set. Probably wasn't the smartest thing for me to shoot a video with a new paint set, but I'm learning these um, every kind of paint is different from different manufacturers. And um, I like these, but they are different. They behave really differently than uh, what I'm used to. Anyway, um, da -da -da, I'm gonna use a cool yellow, like this lemon yellow. All right, excellent. This is like a very kind of blue green. This is what I wanted. So I'm glad that worked out. So let's go, this is, I need a little more water. I'm gonna go over here. All right, good, that is what I wanted. And then on this one, just over the top of the leaf, I'm not gonna go over the underside. And then this leaf here, oh, and I realize I forget forgot to do the stem there. And this one. All right, so you can see that the values are building up as well. So the, the darkness of my colors as I add layers. All right, good. Now I'm gonna, uh, first of all, I'm gonna put some color in that stem down here. Use a slightly different green. Oop, get that in there. All right, now I'm gonna go back over this root ball. Um, I want this a lot richer looking because it has a little bit of soil in there and it's more of a kind of ruddy color and this is very pale. So, Let's get some, um, I'm gonna try this English red. It's a really beautiful, rich color. And I'm gonna add a little bit of ultramarine to it, blue. All right, that will work. I'm gonna add a little more. All right, great. Or that red in there. So now I'm gonna come in here and that's nice and dark. All right, so that's, there we go. And I do wanna pick up a little bit on the, there we 
There we go. So there's a little bit of correcting you can do with watercolor. So here I'm using this to kind of soak up. All right, excellent. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the small little baby leaves at the bottom here, the basil leaves, um, and freshen those up. So this is, we knocked out that kind of red green. Um, and now I'm going to, I think I'm gonna use that blue that I mixed. So, got some ultramarine. I'm gonna make these leaves a little warmer colored at the bottom still, so I'm not gonna use that lemon yellow. Um, I'm gonna use this, uh, let's see, what am I gonna use, this cadmium yellow. There we go, so it's not quite as blue. It's more of a yellowy green. So the yellow I used in these leaves is a cooler lemon yellow, and the yellow that I used to mix this green is a warmer yellow. And you know what, I'm gonna pump that up um, with a this olive green. Okay, let's add this in here. All right, good. All right, now we are going to go back into the violet and add a little bit of a, basically the same color. I'm gonna use the same violet that I had mixed before. And I'm going to add some just on top. So this is called glazing, when you paint wet over dry paint. All right. And now I'm gonna go over some of these leaves. I wanna deepen those a little bit. I'm gonna try this green. I'm gonna Make sure it's got enough water in it so that it's not too strong. There we go. And I'm gonna bring this green into the stem a little bit. And pull some into here and here. All right, now I'm going to add in, um, I'm gonna deepen some of the greens on these leaves. So I'm actually gonna use the same, I'm gonna mix again my cobalt blue. And I'm gonna use the lemon yellow again. All right. All right, here we go. So we're going to deepen the green in here by adding that same color on top. So we're glazing. I'm gonna deepen this one as well. And in here. Pretty much all of them. All right, so now let's take a look at this and kind of evaluate things. Um, this works. Yeah, so yeah, so I'm taking a look at this and now I'm kind of comparing all the colors and the lightnesses and darknesses. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of depth into the root ball because some of that area is really dark. Um, so what did we mix before? Uh, we used an English red and an ultramarine. I'm gonna use, that brush is a little small. I'm gonna use my ultramarine again. Tiny bit of this. I wanna make a color that's really deep and not quite as hot as what we used originally. All right, and then just add some of this in here.
and I'm gonna soak up a little bit of that. So I blotted my brush and I'm using a brush that has uh, less water than what's on this paper. And so it's picking up a little bit of that water and then I can spread some of this around as well. There we go. All right. And looking at this, I think we are all set. So here is my finished watercolor botanical drawing. And I hope you enjoyed this and that, um, yeah, you can always uh, reach out to me by email um, or messaging me um, if you have any questions about this. So enjoy and have a nice day. Bye-bye.